Hey guys, Arthur here coming to you with another video on what's going on in the world of Pokemon Go. Before we dive into the article or the news, hit that like, hit that subscribe, make sure you share the video, and also smash that bell for the notifications. And if you want to, please leave a like. I would love for you to leave a like. Let me know how you feel about this news, the article. Anything you want to say, you can say it on the comment section. I would like to read your comments and I'll... Your comment might be on the top of the comments of the day. And just let's just dive right into the, the article. Rural Pokemon Go duo say goodbye to four and five star raids following nerf. A couple of rural, play, uh, rural Pokemon Go players are hanging up their hats when it comes to in-person raids. And they say thank you Neanta for killing remote play. <laughs> They, they did, they did, especially for rural players. On April 6th, Niantic nerfed remote raids by increasing their price and imposing a daily limit to the number of remote raid passes as players can use. This resulted in an, an unprecedented uproar from the community and shortly after, where is it? Shortly after the nerf, players began to feel the effect they claim that without remote raids being more accessible, in-person raids were starting to become impossible, especially raids featuring Mega Evolved or Legendary Pokemon. And um, I just learned like two, three days ago about um, these remote raids even more. If you failed a raid, if you fell it and you use a remote raid pass, they still count it as being used, and if you use it again, if you go to that same one, they'll they already uh, they will count another remote raid pass daily against you, which uh, sucks. Oh, it sucks. It just sucks. It sucks, especially raids featuring Mega Evolved or Legendary Pokemon. This spike is difficulty in, di in difficulty has turned other uh, turned players away from attempting high level raids, even for those who didn't intend to join in on the boycott. And for one couple, they may spell the end of their Pokemon Go raiding days. They're saying goodbye, goodbye, especially to the four and five raids, five star raids, six star raids, seven star raids. The post came from. User Chop655 on the Pokemon Go subreddit featuring a screenshot of Mega Blastoise. Seems like this this uh, website goes a lot into a Reddit. Gets a lot of their news on Reddit too. Featuring a screenshot of Mega Blastoise with 2 seconds on the clock and 1 eighth of its health left. The post read a rule. Husband... Slash wife duo. I think four slash five raids are a thing of the past for us. Thanks, Niantic, for killing remote play. Thank you, Niantic, for killing the game in total. The, the duo is only the latest in a growing number of players frustrated with the current state of Pokemon Go rating. And Niantic has expressed in the past that higher level raids will require... 10 or more players to take on and remote rating prior to the nerf made filling out teams a lot easier because uh, a lot of players haven't uh, were able to uh, remote unlimitedly which was against what Niantic wants to do and that is remote raids is not what Niantic wants and they are trying to get rid of it by making it worse and worse and and worse to use them, and it's not cool that they're doing it with also the way I just explained it to you. By if you fell a raid, that means that you did it and uh, you still did it. You failed it, but you did it. But you can't use that same remote raid if you go in with another team and you go instead. Like, let's say you go in with seven players and you still, that still wasn't enough to take down maybe a legendary. So you go in with 12 players now. The thing is, if you already used your remote repass, 
that remote read pass for the date will still count and if you still have another one you can use for the date for your daily then that would account that will count for another remote raid but that's how it's going to be it's, it's, uh, that's how people are saying like like the remote rating is being destroyed by Niantic and they don't care they don't care they don't and there it is there's a explanation you can see you can click on it if you want to view it you can view it and you can see it's still have enough uh they don't have a lot of time but they're one eighth uh defeating the blastoise chop 655 was not alone as several comments shared similar stories one user wrote if it makes you feel better, I live in the middle of Los Angeles, but not a, a part like downtown, and I also can no longer raid unless it unless I make it somewhere like Santa Monica or Disneyland. Others offered ways Niantic can make raids more accessible without removing the remote raid nerf. One user suggested the timer be removed from in-person raids as it very difficult to get enough players to the raid in time. Another suggested if only raids had matching matchmaking so you could go to the gym, but the gym uh, the, but the game put you together with other solo people on f far away gyms. Then it would be super cool to meet other po uh, pokers from around the world fighting the same Pokemon. But until any change are made, Pokemon. Well, that is a good. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, separate the people that use remote raid passes. There's gonna be a lot of people that um, don't. There's there, there's not gonna be a lot, but there's gonna be some people that don't, and uh, there's some people that. It's going to be a majority of people that are going to be remote rating. So, I don't know how that's going to solve the in-game thing. I don't, that's a good way to solve that. And I would like to see that implemented and see how the difference is between, like, in-person and remote rating. And we'll see. But until any changes are made, Pokemon Go players will have to continue to sh continue struggling through in-person raids hope they are able to pl pull off the impossible Let's hope i am uh, this is not good for anybody this game became now more of a city-based game now big city especially the big cities like they are punishing real players they're saying, hey, it's your fault for not being in the big cities. Go go live down there. People don't want to live in the city, dude. Nobody wants to live in the city. Nobody. Not a lot of people. That's why they go to the suburbs. They go to middle like the middle of nowhere, maybe like a small town, so they can have a relaxing time with small town feel, small town folks. People like doing that. And um, that's not cool when you're freaking limiting your player base and that's what you are doing is limiting your player base you're limiting your player base and that is not good because then people will start like you know what i'm not going to play at all sooner or later you're going to just going to have people in the big city and that's all you're going to have that's all you're going to have is just play people in the big cities and you're not going to get a lot of data from that that's not cool, man. That's not cool. This is not cool, Niantic. I feel for them. I am sorry that this is going on. This will either turn people to either one way to play is spoof, especially for rural players. They're going to turn rural players into spoofers, which is not what Niantic wants them to do. That is breaking their terms of service. But that's basically what they're going to do, Niantic. 
That's basically what they're going to do. They're going to turn, you're going to turn people to spoofing, which is not what you want them to do. Or you're going to get people to quit the game in total. Nintendo, Pokemon Company, Game Freak, one of you has to come in and start smacking some heads around. Saying like, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? One of y'all has to come in and start smacking some heads around Niantic's face. Just pinch slap him. Bitch slap him. Hardcore bitch slap. Hardcore. What you do to my game? That's what they need. They need a waking up. They they need an ass whooping to wake up. Either throw water in their face or something to wake up. Like, hey, are you are you are you are you need to be awake? You still sleep? What's going on? It's ridiculous, dude. This is beyond ridiculous. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section, guys. Um, how you feel about these players, especially the role players. Um, do you feel sorry for them? For, uh, or do you think that Niantic is like hurting uh, role players' gameplay? You think that... Um, what do you think? What do you think of what's going on? You think it's just going to turn into just a city game now? And that's basically what people are going to have to do is just go live in the city if they actually want to play the game. Let's see. I want to see in that comment section, guys. So uh, make sure to hit the like. Hit that subscribe. If you made it through this video, hit that like. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. And leave a comment in the comment section. And make sure to share the video, guys. Make sure to share the video. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Uh, it's getting crazier and crazier. I'm feeling more and more saddened by what's going on with Pokemon Go, guys. It's not looking good. Turning a great game and making people hate them. It's turning a great game into something that nobody wants to play anymore. And by the time they notice that nobody's playing their game anymore or nobody wants to play their game anymore, it's going to be too late. Who's going to trust them? If, if they don't, if they change like a year or two, maybe if they change like in three or four months or five months or six months, who's going to trust them? If they don't change right now, who's going to trust them? Who's going to trust them not to do this again? Should, I don't think rule players will trust them ever again. Rule players, they shouldn't trust them. Rule players, feel like they are not being heard or they're not being cared about. They're not even being heard or cared about. Enjoy your game dying down every month. Every month your game is going to die. The only game that's sustaining your livelihood, your company, is this game. No other game has worked for you. You don't listen. You don't hear. No other game is doing that. Nobody other game is giving you the amount of profit that you're making year in and year out. This is the only game that's keeping you alive as a company. And you're destroying the, you're destroying that base. Just like Bud Light is destroying their base, their consumer base, you are destroying your consumer base by doing what you just did almost a week ago more than a week ago more than a week ago that's what you did that's what you did you deserve this backlash you deserve it you wanted to be in the name you wanted to be in the papers you wanted to be in the in every news article, you're just like Bud Light. You're just like Bud Light. You're in there. You're you're in the news. For good reasons? No. For bad reasons? Yes. This is, this is not good. 
this is not good. Thank you for being here, guys. And like I said, if you're made it through this, you made it through this video, um, make sure to hit, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash the bell for notifications, and share the video. And if you want to do any other, if you don't want to do any of the other stuff, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section. And I will see you on the next video, guys. That is it. Peace out.